So what exactly were the injuries that you noticed? Um, well, I was, actually, I was in school and I was taking a test and my hands started shaking, so I knew there was something wrong. When John Pallarino noticed strange symptoms after a basketball injury, a neuropsychologist at Staten Island University Hospital found evidence of a concussion, something others didn't see. He was still experiencing headaches, uh, trouble concentrating, trouble remembering. So all signs that were pointing to the fact that his symptoms of concussion had not cleared up as we expected and transitioned into something called post-concussive syndrome. Now that kids are back to school and training for upcoming games, half the battle is recognizing the signs and symptoms of a concussion. Here are four to look out for. Most patients will talk about a constant level of headache or a headache that comes and goes, but usually it goes away between seven and ten days post-injury. Um, and then at that point it is doing anything, either physical exertion or cognitive exertion will bring it on. Like it's going to come on in waves and be exacerbated by, by too much activity. But it can also be exacerbated by too much stimulation, meaning too much sound, too much light, too much noise and activity in the environment. The sleep disturbance, so there's trouble sleeping, uh, trouble falling asleep, trouble staying asleep. And part of it, it's kind of a double-edged because there's sleep disturbances inherent in having a concussion, but it's also made worse by the fact that people have headaches and they're dizzy. So trouble concentrating when a parent or a teacher or a friend is talking and zoning out in the middle of the story and not remembering what you're told, let alone concentrating for the duration of a 45 or 50 minute class. Dr. Price, the hospital's director of pediatric trauma, warns that other sports can also pose a threat and will head a sports injury and prevention seminar for parents, student athletes, and coaches on September 15th. We classically think of football as being the one thing because people you know, always leave with their head apparently in, in football, right? But in essence, it could be any contact sport. And in fact, my guess is the contact sports that aren't the, the big ticket items probably will have people not recognize what concussions are because they just don't see a lot of it. So this seminar is sort of to alert people that this is a problem, alert people about the advantages that we have here in this institution that they don't have other places that they can bring their child here and they can get served. So um, the guy who fall, the five-year-old falls off the playground and is a little irritable and a little sleepy, they can come into our program, they can get evaluated by our PEDS rehab, they have testing, they have um, sort of databases that we can point to, and if over time they end up having problems, we have neurologists involved, we have doctors involved that can help them through the process.